ya we for this year day the day that you have set aside for yourself that we should worship you we should adore you we should glorify your holy name we should remember that you are our creator that you are our all in all our alpha and omega the beginning and end of everything in our life father in this day of may the 21st 2017 17 we worship you the holy spirit gave us a scripture today abacuc 2 verses 13 to 14 abacuc 2 13 to 14 i read behold is it not of yahweh of host that the people shall labor in the very the very fire and the people shall weary themselves for very vanity for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of yahweh as the waters cover the sea and of good today the lord talks to us about obedience to government earthly government obedience to government before he revealed this to prophet abacuc this scripture uh, prophet abacuc uh, is uh, a prophet a, compar a contemporary of jeremiah of uh, of uh, ezekiel uh, so he lived on the seventh century before christ so before he revealed this to abacuc yahshua showed him the evils the babylonian rulers had committed in verse 22 of Habakkuk 2, he says, Father Yahweh says, Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood, and establisheth a city by iniquity, end of quote. In verses 8 and 10, Yahweh says, he says, Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land of the city and of all that dwell therein thou hast consulted thou had consulted shame to thy house by cutting off many people and has sinned against thy soul end of quote when people with some power and authority do such abominations some argue that it is yahweh who allowed these evils to happen and if, if this were true then god would be we would say then that god is wicked to ordain a person in authority let him commit atrocities just to come after the evils are done with, with punishments. This would surely not be a way. The God revealed, revealed by the Holy Scriptures as we know. The first leg of this sermon, should a Christian submit to evil powers? Should a Christian submit to evil powers? Many like to quote Apostle Paul who wrote, I, I quote, Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation and of good this is romans 13 verses 1 to 2. this scripture sounds like asking christians not to resist higher powers between quote higher powers even if such such powers are evil wicked and contrary to the will of yahweh just because i quote the powers that be are ordained of god and of good in scripture to ordain to ordain means to set in place to to designate to to institute so to dismiss this kind of 
references because the word of God cannot contradict the word of God. To dismiss these kinds of inferences, the Apostle Paul adds the just the next verses 3 and 4. I quote, For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. End of quote. This is quoting Romans 13 verses 3 to 4. The Apostle Paul is referring to law-abiding, God-fearing, higher powers. For why? The good and evil he evokes here are defined by Yahweh in the commandments, the Ten Commandments and all the decrees and precepts that he had ordained. We see it in Exodus 20. Therefore, the higher powers Paul refers to are powers appointed, appointed of Yahweh. For there are powers that are not appointed of Yahweh. There are powers that are not ordained of Yahweh. Those Christians must resist. I quote the scripture, therefore, submit to God, but resist the devil, and he will flee from you. End of quote. Now, this is quoting James 4 verse 7. We must submit to Yahweh only, and to his ordained high powers. Certain, and his ordained high powers, we must resist. For Satan has also ordained high powers on earth. Otherwise, he wouldn't have shown them to Yeshua Christ in the wilderness. In Luke 4, Satan, I quote, shewed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time, end of quote, and said unto him, I quote, all this power will I give thee and the glory of them for that is delivered unto me and to whomsoever I will give it. If thou therefore will worship me, all shall be done. End of quote. This is quoting Luke 4 verses 6 to 7. Yahshua himself calls Satan the, I quote, Prince of the world, end of quote. Prince of this world, end of quote. This is quoting John 14, verse 30. Christians are called to resist the prince of this world, but they are to submit to the higher powers ordained by Yahweh. Those who build the towns, Coming to the, the scripture, uh, the scripture of the day, verses verses eight and nine, uh, uh, and uh, and uh, uh, verses verses eight and uh, and uh, ten. Those who build the towns with blood and establish cities in equity, those who spoil many nations and cut off many people, are higher powers ordained by Satan. These Satan ordained evil powers existed even among the Israelite people. Yahweh brought judgment against them. The Sanhedrin with its Pharisees, elders, scribes, and Sadducees were a higher power. But Yahshua Christ did not submit to it, 
but he resisted it very strongly instead. That Sanhedrin was ordained by Satan. Yahshua denounced it as such. I quote, I quote our Lord Yahshua Christ. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And of course, this is quoting John 8, verse 44. These are higher powers of whom Yahweh said, I quote, Ye serpents, ye generous generation of vipers, how can you escape the damnation of hell? And of course, this is quoting Matthew 23, verse 33. Therefore, no Christian should submit to a government that despises Yahweh's commandments and commits atrocity. For this, I like to thank and congratulate the Catholic Church of uh, the, the West Cameroon, the English-speaking West Cameroon. For they have, they, they are standing, they keep standing against oppression. To oppression, Christians must oppose the theology of liberation. Christians must resist the government that builds towns with blood, establishes series of inequity, spoil many communities, and cut off many people. As this chapter Habakkuk uh, 2 says, such evil governments are not ordained of Yahweh, and must be resisted. Now let us talk about what we have to do. Submit only to God-fearing government. Submit only to God-fearing government. This year the scripture shows you what to observe in order to decide whether you must resist or submit to a government. It says, I quote, I quote, Behold, it is not of Yahweh of hosts that the people shall labor in the very fire and the people shall weary themselves uh, for, uh, for, for very vanity. This is quoting the scripture of today, Habakkuk 2 verse 13. The people, either Medes or Persians against Babylon or the Chaldeans for Babylon, shall weary themselves, spend their strength and life for very vanity. The one to preserve what shall never profit them, which they laid up in vain, the other to destroy all. So they lose their booty by destroying it in the fire. Yet all these from the Lord of hosts, justly punishing Babylon for all her cruelties. The Chaldeans labor at what is to be food for the fire, namely their city and fortresses which shall be burnt. By God's appointment, the end of all these labor is for the fire. What may suffice it to consume? This is, this is the whole result of their labor. And so it is as if they had toiled for this. They built sealed palaces and gorgeous buildings only for the fire to consume them. They wearied themselves. And what was their, what was their reward after wearing themselves? What had they to, to, to suffice and fill them. Emptiness. Emptiness. This is from the Lord of hosts, whom all the armies of heaven and earth obey, and all creatures stand 
and his command against the ungodly and in whose hands are all are all the host of earth and so the oppressors also to turn as he wills Yahweh who has at his command all the host of heaven and earth is the righteous author of Babylon's destruction the same expression occur in Jeremiah's denunciation of Babylon I quote that said the way of hosts the broad walls of Babylon shall be utterly broken and her high gates shall be burned with fire and the people shall labor in vain and the folk of the fire and they shall be weary end of quote this is quoting Jeremiah 51 verse 58 both prophets which were contemporary uh, they, 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 they lived at the, at the same epoch. They both prophet in the same epoch predicted that Yahweh shall render all these compulsory services fruitless. Fruitless. Jeremiah adds the explanatory cause, I quote again, the broad walls of Babylon shall be utterly broken and her high gate shall be burned with fire. Yahweh will not defer his he will not defer his vengeance long but will come and destroy all their labors as though they were consumed with fire I quote for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of Yahweh as the waters cover the sea this is quoting the second verse 14 of the scripture of the day the enslaved nations raised the Babylonian palaces only for the fire to destroy them. But Yahweh's glory shall be made known all the world over and shall not be effaced. The destruction of Babylon was a stage only, only toward the coming of those good things which Yahweh taught his people, his people, his people to long for not their very coming in the destruction of the babylonians yahweh's glory will appear will appear through all the world the knowledge knowledge between courts of all this glory will not be a mere notional or speculative one but special and spiritual an experimental knowledge accompanied with with affection approbation confidence and appropriation and the earth will be filled with this that is the inhabitants of the earth this had an accomplishment in part in the times of the apostles when they were sent into all the world to preach the gospel to every creature and diffuse the, the, sa the savor of the knowledge of God everywhere and had a further accomplishment in the times of King Ezana who established Aksum as the, as the, as the world first Christian empire and of the constant of Constanti Constant Constantine and Theodosius, when the whole Roman Empire become Christians and the whole world came to know Christianity. Our prayer is that Yahweh may consume with his fire that wicked government of your country, which builds his rulers' individual towns and wealth with blood establishes cities in inequity, spoils many communities, and cuts off many people. And like he did with Babylon, Yahweh may show and will show his glory through all the world based on the destruction of that wicked government of your country. But in no way should Christians submit to the evil government. They must resist it. Not this. And the Lord Yahweh will bless you. Amen. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Let us pray. Let us take these prayer points. Let us pray to destroy oppression. I rebuke and cast out any spirit that will attempt to oppress me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord Yeshua, you went about doing good and healing all those oppressed of the devil. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I strip all power from spirits that would oppress me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I rebuke and cast out all spirits of poverty that will oppress me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I rebuke all spirit of madness and confusion that would oppress, would, that would attempt to oppress my mind. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. O Lord, Yahweh. Undertake for me against all my oppressors. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord Yahweh, you are my refuge from the oppressor. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Deliver me from the wicked who oppress me and from my dead, deadly enemies who surround me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Deliver me from the oppressors that seek after my soul. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord Yahweh, break in pieces the oppressor. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I rebuke and cast out all spirits of affliction, sorrow, and anything attempting to bring me low. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Father Yahweh, leave me not to my oppressors. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Let not the proud oppress me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Deliver me from the oppression, from the oppression of men. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I rule over my oppressors. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Let the oppressors be consumed out of the land. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I rebuke the voice of the oppressor. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I am establishing righteousness and I am far from oppression. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Yahweh Shaphat, our judge, punish those who attempt to oppress me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. The enemy will not take my inheritance through oppression. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Yahweh Shaphat, execute judgment against my oppressors. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Thank you, Father Yahweh, for this day. Thank you, Lord, that you heard our prayers. Thank you, Father, for your answers to our prayers. Lord Yahweh, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you all the praise. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah.